You know, you do such a beautiful job of bringing this love story and your character to life. What was your first reaction when they approached you to be the lead and the star in this? My first reaction was thinking about it thoroughly. I, I was very interested as to why they approached me. And when I looked into it further, I realized that the book was written with an interracial couple, and it was written by a black woman, and they hired a black female director. And this story is honestly not one that I would have traditionally been drawn to had it not been for all of the fresh elements in it, including the fact that it is diverse casting, and yet race is never a main conversation in the film. It's a genuine, sweet, real relationship we see unfolding, and there's natural chemistry. It feels very authentic. Talk about how your personal relationship developed and maybe how that spilled into the film, because we believe every moment we see. Oh, I'm really glad to hear that. Uh, I think our relationship was one that happened like pretty organically. We met on the first day in Vancouver, and it seemed to kind of click from the beginning. It was something that didn't require you know, a huge amount of, of effort to, to create. So, I mean, we both got lucky in that way. It just sort of happened. The magic was there. Yeah, <laughs> The right. magic was there. <laughs> Talk about how proud you are of this film. I'm really proud of this film. I think it is really special, and it feels really fresh, and I think it's something that the kids kind of deserve. Like, they deserve something a little bit smarter and more diverse and a little fresher, and this feels like it to me. How about you, young man? Yeah, I feel the same way. I think we made something special and hopefully something that will, you know, speak to people, resonate. With the magic that you two share in this film, do you see uh, you two possibly down the road tag-teaming if the fans are screaming at people and say, we need more of these two? Could you two <laughs> see yourselves working together? <laughs> Everything Everything 2 would be about. Yeah, I don't know what it would be. <laughs> Maybe another movie. Um, in another movie, yeah, I would, I would love to work with Nick again. What would you enjoy most about it? Amanda's a very thoughtful, curious, like, very talented actress. And I, I think it comes across in her acting is that sort of thoughtfulness and intelligence. That was cool to see. It was very cool. I want to talk a little bit about uh, you know, your career. You've clearly taken the idea of being someone who uses fame and some of the power you have to be active and the responsibility that goes along with that. I mean, I've been reading down your resume, recently named Feminist of the Year. You're a young ambassador of No Kid Hungry, and the list goes on and on. Uh, also named one of our country's most influential teens. For you, I'm curious, what's your guiding light and where did your passion come from? I don't know what, where my guiding light necessarily comes from. I think maybe my mom, my parents. But I think I just view a lot of things that are kind of wrong with the world, and I've been given this insane responsibility and blessing of being able to reach a lot of people. And so I feel like it's my responsibility to utilize that well. And why is it so important to you? It's important to me because I care about the world and I care about humanity and if I can do anything to in any way impact that, that's really amazing.